genetic algorithms mimics natural selection and evolution. In natural selection process, the parents from the current population are selected and reproduction methods are adopted to produce next generations. Crossover and mutation are two reproduction methods in genetic algorithms. In the framework of GA, we have reached till here. Populations, initial population is selected and the individuals in the population are encoded and the best parents are selected. Now we have, we, we have to perform reproduction. Crossover, mutation and inversion are the common three techniques for producing new offsprings. Various operations in genetic algorithms are encoding, selection, crossover and mutation. In crossover, we are combining the parts of both parents to produce new ones. In mutation, we are randomly inverting one genes or more genes in chromosomes. Reproduction or the process to produce new offsprings in genetic algorithms includes crossover, mutation and inversion. Crossover or recombination. To perform crossover, we require parents. A mating pair. Each pair consists of two strings. Each pair consists of two individuals which are parents. Are selected at random from the population. The crossover operator is applied on the selected parents to produce new solutions. This operator exchanges the gene information between two parents. As a result, we get two offsprings. To perform crossover, we have to select a crossover point K that can be generated by a random number generator. And this crossover point K lies in between 1 and L. L is the length of the chromosome. Various crossover operations are single point crossover, two point crossover, uniform crossover, multi point crossover, and linear crossover. Various other methods are also available to perform crossover. Single point crossover. As the name indicates, this crossover technique uses only one crossover point. Select a crossover point K, genes after that crossover point are swapped. Two parents are selected, length of the chromosome or each parent is 8 and we have selected crossover point K as 2. Offsprings 1 includes 0, 1 from parent 1 and remaining genes from parent 2. Offspring 2 has first two bits from parent 2 and the remaining bits from parent 1. Two point crossover. As the name indicates, this crossover requires two crossover points K1 and K2 which lie between 1 and L. The middle parts are swapped between two strings. Two parents are selected. Two crossover points are selected. After crossover, we go to offsprings. Offspring 1 has 0, 1 the first part from parent 1. The middle part from 1, 0, 1 from parent 2 and 0, 1, 0 from parent 1. And the offspring 2, first part 1, 0 from parent 2, 1, 0, 0 from parent 1 and 1, 0, 0 from parent 2. Here we go to offsprings. As the name indicates, multi-point crossover requires many crossover points. Alternating segments are swapped to get new offsprings. Consider this example, parent 1 and parent 2. Three crossover points are selected. The alternating segments are swapped between parents. So, offspring 1 has first part from parent 1, second part from parent 2, third part from parent 1 and fourth part from parent 2. Like, offspring 2 has first part from parent 2, second part from parent 1, third part from parent 2. 2 and 4th part from parent 1. Uniform crossover. In this scheme, at each bit position of the parent string, we toss a coin to determine whether there will be a swap of bits or not. In this uniform crossover, at each bit position, we have to decide whether to take from first parent or second parent based on a coin toss. The two bits are then swapped or remain unaltered accordingly. 
Consider this example parent 1 and parent 2 and this is an occurrence of coin tossing. For the first bit we got coin as 1. So we are considering this, this as rule. If the toss is 0 then swap the bits between P1 and P2. This is the rule. You can change accordingly. Here the coin toss outcome is 1. So we don't need to swap bits. So the offspring 1 has 1 like parent 1. Now coin tossing has outcome 0. So we have to swap the bits between parents. So 1 and 1. You check the colors of bits. Coin tossing has outcome 0. So we have to swap. So offspring 1 got 1 here. Like that. Offspring 2. The same way we can create offspring 2. Here the first coin toss outcome is 1. That means we don't need to swap. So we got 0 from parent 2 here. Outcome is 0. That means we have to swap. So we got 1 from parent 1 here. Another outcome is 0. So we have to swap. So here we got 0. A crossover mask can also be applied in case of uniform crossover. A crossover mask is a string of binary bits that is having exactly same length as that of parent. Each gene is created in the offspring by copying the corresponding gene from one or other parent depending upon this bit in the crossover mask. Where there is a 1 in the mask, gene is copied from first parent. If there is 0 in the mask, that means gene is copied from second parent. These are the two parents and the mask is like this. 1 means the offspring 1, it copies from parent 1. 0 means we have to copy from parent 2. In the offspring 2, 1 means we have to select from parent 2. 0 means we have to select from parent 1. Now, linear crossover in real coded genetic algorithms. There are various ways to encode individuals in the population. Some methods are binary encoding, real value encoding, tree encoding, etc. Thus, if the inputs, if the individuals are encoded other than binary form, we can go with linear crossover or some arithmetic operations can be performed on bits to get new individuals. Consider this example. Child 1 is equal to alpha dot x plus 1 minus alpha dot y. This is a linear combination of the values x and y. For example, here the x uh, in initial the value at this bit is 0.1 and here this is 0.2 and the outcome the offspring's value is equal to alpha is some random value we have selected 0.5 into 0.1 plus 0.5 into 0.2 that means we got 0.15 mutation is a process to invert gene values to introduce some new features Introduction of new features in the solution strings of population to maintain diversity. In genetic algorithm, the concept of biological mutation is modeled artificially to bring local change over the current solutions. This mutation operation creates one offspring for each parent. There are various methods to perform mutations. Some are bit flip mutation, random resetting, swap mutation, scramble mutation and inversion mutation. Bit flip mutation. As the name indicates, bit values are flipped to, to perform mutation techniques. So this kind of mutation technique is best, at best useful in case of binary encoding genetic algorithm mechanisms. Select one or more random bits and flip them. One parent is selected. Here this bit is selected. And this offspring has 0 here. That means 1 is flipped to 0. Here more than 1 bits are selected in the parent. And that bits are flipped 
to create new offspring. 1 is changed to 0, 0 is changed to 1 and 1 is changed to 0. Random resetting means we are selecting some particular gene value and we are resetting it with some another possible value. This method can be best suitable in case of real value encoding. Random resetting is an extension of bit flip mutation. In this, a random value from a set of permissible values is assigned to a randomly chosen gene. The available values are 1 to 8. This, these two bits are selected and we are providing some substitutes. 2 is substituted with 3 and 4 with 8. Swap mutation or interchanging. As the name indicates, we are swapping the values. Two positions are selected at random and we are interchanging the values. This kind of mutation techniques are well suited in case of permutation based encodings. Here two positions are selected. The value is 2 and 6. We are swap, swapping the values to produce the child one. So we got 6 here and 2 here. As the name indicates, here in scramble mutation, we are shuffling the values. Scramble mutation is also popular with permutation representations. In this, we have to select a subset of genes from the chromosome and their values are shuffled or scrambled randomly. Here, the subset selected is this and these values are reshuffled. So, we got on offspring like this. Another method is inversion mutation. Inversion mutation means we are selecting a subset and we are inverting the order of the values. So in the child we get like the 0, 1, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. This is also like scramble mutation. In scramble mutation, any shuffling order of the selected genes, the selected values are possible. But in case of inversion mutation, we are inverting the order. In this genetic algorithm framework, we have discussed how the individuals in the population can be encode, encoded and how the parents from a current population can be selected and how the individuals can be generated from existing individuals in the population and now we have to discuss till how many generations or how many iterations we have to perform this genetic algorithms. That means we are going to discuss about termination or convergence criteria in genetic algorithms. Every iteration is checked with some convergence criteria. Various commonly available termination conditions are a solution is found that satisfies the objective criteria. That means in some iteration, if we get a solution that satisfies the objective criteria, we can stop. Another, another situation where the fixed number of generations is executed. That means we are initializing like uh, 10 generations are required. Then once we reach the 10th generation, we can stop the iteration. The highest ranking solution fitness is reaching or has reached a solution such that successive iterations no longer produce better result. That means we got the highest solution and the successive solutions are not providing better ranking than the current population. That means the population is consistent. Or in some situations we can stop the iteration when the allotted budget that means computation time is reached. Or in some situations where a combination of above methods can be adopted to terminate this genetic algorithm iteration. 